Hello YouTube, it's Chris here from techtablets.com. I'm just having a look here at this Surface 3, trying to see what the exact speeds are from the ports on the system. So we have the micro USB port here, which I can happily say does support running uh, flash drives and things like that. So you can hook up a wireless receiver, run a mouse. And I was just wanting to know whether it was running on a USB 3 port or not, whether the new Atom could support that many USB 3 ports or would all run on a USB 3 hub. Uh, you can see here that this is the speed that I managed to get out of a Sandus Extreme USB 3. Only USB 2 speeds from that. Now I was searching high and low on all the top review sites and no one seemed to be reporting on the actual speeds of these um, slots here, or well, the micro SD card slot, whether it was running like the Surface 3 Pro on a USB 3 hub connection. It's not, it's only running on USB 2 because these are the speeds here of it. This is my um, Samsung Evo 64 gigabyte card and those are the top speeds there. So that's the kind of upper limits there of a USB 2 speed. So there you, you can see it's running all right. Uh, this here is my Vertex, Victor sorry, Victor 2 SSD is running in a USB 3 uh, case here. And those are the top speeds, so that's that's good. You know, that's USB 3 speeds, quite high there. It actually runs a lot faster than the internal storage that is on this machine here. This is the 64 gigabyte version with a 128 gigabyte eMMC drive. Those are the speeds here, so we have 131 uh, sequential read and 39 sequential write. These numbers are pretty low, uh, that is quite a slow drive. This is going to be obviously a bottleneck for the system. Though I'm a little bit concerned about, for the price range, it would have been great if they had a SATA 3 SSD in there. But apparently the new Atoms still can't run SATA 3. They can only run the embedded multimedia cards, which is why we have that limiting speed there. That's a factor co to consider if you're going to be moving a lot of files off the system, then you're going to have to have a little bit of patience there, especially when writing files. So if you move a file from the USB 3, you're going to write it onto the system, it's going to take a little while because you are going to be limited to this 40 megabytes per second, which is reasonably quick. But if you are running a drive like the SanDisk here I've got that can read up to like 250 megabytes per second, it is not performing to its full speed there when you are going to be moving files over and writing. And I also wanted to know, would this port here run uh, a external 2.5 inch drive? Will it have enough power? So I'm just going to test that right now. So if I remove this, this is a Toshiba 1 terabyte drive here, and you're going to see if it's be able to run that and open it up, which some people might want to do. Hopefully it's got enough power to do this. Seems good so far. It does look like it is going to open it up. It's installing the driver there for it, so it looks to be a good sign. Can I open it though? Yes I can, so that, that's good. It seems to be able to, be able to run that fine. Because it's only going to be running at USB 2 speeds there. So I can run two external hard drives from both of those ports. Which is good if you did happen to need to transfer files from one hard drive to another. I mean this isn't something you can't do on the Surface uh, 3 Pro unless you use a USB 3 hub. Use a hub D, then you'll be able to do that. Now I'll just show you those speeds compared to a Peepo W3. This is a Chinese tablet that has the older generation Bay Trail in it. And this is the speed here that I managed to get out of the internal eMMC. That's actually faster than the Microsoft Surface 3 you can see there. Quite a bit faster. Which is a shame that uh, Microsoft didn't use a faster drive there. Maybe they could have gone with the newer eMMC 5 drives. Get a little bit more speed out of there. I've actually seen on the Peepo W4S. I've seen write rates of up to close to 80 and reads of almost 200 once on a another Samsung 64 gigabyte eMMC. But so this is a little bit slower, it's something to consider. And those are your port speeds there. What I will do later on is a couple of benchmarks as well, just to compare what the new Cherry Trail is like against the old Bay Trail. See what kind of difference there is. Apparently, there's quite a large difference when it comes to graphics. 
but when it comes to the CPU power, they are very similar. That's not much of an upgrade there from Intel. All right, so that's the video. I will have more up and coming videos on the Surface 3 if you are interested. Be testing out lots of things or try and do a bit of uh, multitasking, running my external monitor to see if it can support the uh, resolution my monitor has, which goes up to 1440p. Hopefully, it can run that fine out of the display port. If you did like this video, please give me a like and do subscribe, as I said, for more up and coming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.